Okay, welcome to the Student Starcraft Artificial Intelligence Tournament 2014 round of 8. Um, the next match, the last run from the from the round of 8, is XEIMP the Carrier Bot versus Skynet. And Skynet has been programmed by Andrew Smith and the XIMP bot has been programmed by Thomas Vader from Slovakia. So, let's see, we've got Andrew Smith at the top and Vader at the bottoms, or Ximbot. And I'm going to speed it up a little bit and re-engage the sound and music. And it needs to check the CD because otherwise I'm using a illegal install thingy and I haven't got the ISO to work yet. Okay, so speeding up a bit. Let's look at the Xim bot because that is doing something really, really cute. And you will see in a minute what exactly it does. So this is going here, placing a pylon and going off to scout. And Skynet is going for a pylon and now some more SCVs and a gateway. And here we get the forge, so we've got a gate first versus a forge first. Isn't that nice? Okay. And we've got a bit of a probe chase going on, nothing too much to worry about. And it's done, and we get the first cannon. Okay, and leave enough room for the Nexus, please do that. And we are getting a Zealot. So, a little bit faster once more, because nothing really happens before that Zealot is out anyway. And it's going after the probe as well. Got the same speed, so it comes down to micro. And it keeps hovering around the edges of the map. Uh, good. Okay, back to Sim. Two cannons, a forge, no upgrades, and in the main base we've got a first gateway coming up as well. Let's speed it up a little again, because we can. And a core and a nexus. Oh, look at this building placement! Isn't this beautiful? This one could have been more a little bit to the right, but one, two, three, four cannons. And oh, look at that! You could have killed those, but if you are chasing the probe, which will die from goons, you could have had them. Okay. And the Templar Archives. Good. Let's have some storm drops. Okay, so we now have four cannons and a scout because they are gone to choke the ramp. Okay. And now back in the main base. We've got we've got a Stargate and some units of its own. And another Stargate, but two Stargates of the two Zealots and a goon. Isn't that nice? It is. Oh, here it goes, here it goes. Slow down, slow down, boys, slow down. One goon dies, Dark Templar dies as well, another Dark Templar dies, and the cannons win. All the while, these two zealots and the goon are standing around doing nothing. Another Dark Templar dies, and they retreat and go for the expand. So, if the first attack doesn't work, go for an expand and do something there. Oh, and a fleet beacon! Yes, this is what it's all about, because the Ximbot is a cannon bot. It just likes to sit back behind a wall of cannons, build some probes, get the cover going, build some more cannons, and once it deci it's decided it's got enough cannons, it will what do you need? What do you need? Do it, do it, do it! No more cannons. Oh, securing the main drops. There's not the possibility of Templar drops. Very good. And... Naturally, we've got a quite a bit of army here. Uh, let's see, three, four Zealots, three Dark Templar, and 
five goons. Would that be enough? I don't know, with bridges. And I see something blinking. One, two, three. Three carriers come down. Oh, glory. And the weapon upgrade, and I... Oh, and the extended base upgrade, so they can carry four interceptors. And all the while, this poor guy is just unaware. And taking this third, it's mineral only. Guarding it at the expense of the natural, but hey, you can make some choices. Two inactive SCVs, and are we having some more interesting tech coming up? We've got another forge. We got a forge, didn't have one yet. And. Oh! Great! A third which will be defended by carriers, and because they are AI carriers, they can build interceptors when they die. Oh, <gasps> good. Kid it. So, we've got a three base versus a three base coming up, defended by cannons, and now you'd say, well, what's the ground army for? Two cannons here, and not really all that money in the bank. Uh, this defended eBay. Oh, so it can't actually storm. It's very hard for it to do so, but it can't do it. And now here we've got a roving patrol of one, two, three, three, four carriers. And by the looks of it, there are more underway. Some ground forces to make up for some drop defense, I don't know. Oh, look. Spilled some more cannons. Bring it on. And now we are in battle. One cannon down. The other cannon down. Oh, here comes the ground arm. Look at the map. They are streaming in. Streaming in, streaming in. Really good path. And now we've got a battle of goons versus interceptors in the middle of the battle. It's not ideal because every time the goons are changing, economic damage will be done to either. Oh, look at that! It's taking out the core, so there will be no more dragoons if he's killed them. And no more Templar, which means no Archons, perhaps. And the next is down. Oh, and the second group is here already. So what we've got now, we've got two groups of carriers in the main base and taking out stuff left and right. Oh, isn't that glorious? And <laughs> what can you build? You can build, you can build zealots. Well, what is it doing? Building cannons, 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 expanding once more. Cannons, you need more cannons, you need as much cannons as you can while the forges are. And these dragoons, well, they are not in the mood to get in there, and the entire main base gets purged. And what have we here? Oh, it's just an observer. And the next batch of carriers is getting ready already, oh dear. And the weapons upgrade, which will make them much more powerful, and they're on plus one already. So. Plus two, eight carriers in the main base, uncontested. The main base is cat food. Okay, so, where are we? Skynet has got four bases. It has got a lot of cannons and a lot of pilots because it's got some pilots. But it's got no tech, and that is a bit of a problem, especially if there are eight angry carriers and four more on the way which take the scenic route, god knows why, and another pack coming still. So there will be 16 carriers out soon in four independent groups. It tries to rebuild, but I've got this feeling that it's all too late, too late, too late, and the hammer falls, this next dies. There are enough probes, it's balancing probes, it's, oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful script to balance probes for this basis. And this one is under attack as well. The scenic ground is corrupt. And the ground army is just rallying from A to B, trying to kill carriers with a few of the routes it's got left. And it's not going to work. Sim is sitting behind his cannon wall here. And here has taken another base. Oh, now the ground attack is on addition. Interesting because they might, oh, will they? I think they might take it out. They might take it out. The zealots are so tough and the Dark Templar deals so much damage. The 
I take out the natural. Oh, two cannons. No, 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 no. The ground attack is stifled. Here come the probes and some balloons, and it's all. It's all going to nothing. The new bases get killed. A lot of gas in the bank. Oh, we need gas in the bank. Oh, splendid. Two more expansions, but you've got no units. You've got no units, which can't shoot up. The Nashville is broken, though, by two dragoons. And yeah, well, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? One observer, two dragoons versus. I believe it's now a almost. No, it's not even maxed. It's not building. It could build more carriers. It could build anything. And one pack of carriers comes back to chase these units. And the observer. And there is one more here, which will... Oh look, they're patrolling, they're guarding them. You know, they're normally serious because it just kills and dies, but it has some very good defensive script as well. Nice to know. Competition beware. And... Oh, pylons, pylons, pylons. Pylons and Nexuses. There is the Latinus Nexus, but they... I don't have all that much Latin, and um, it should be just English, so Nexuses. Eat it. And what are we doing? Chasing probes, or just patrolling the perimeter. And taking another base, and building some more cannons, because hey, 7k minerals have got to count for something. And also these defenses are being rebuilt. This base will be taken. And it will be a matter of time before it's found. I'm gonna speed it up a little because I've still got a 50 minute YouTube um, cap, which is not all that great. And here we go, that is one base. Um, fly over to that one. And we will watch the destruction of the assimilator. And the pilot. And one more base, last time. Oh, God, it just keeps expanding. It's really horrible. And the carriers are going out in a search pattern. Who will find it first? 10k, 7k, 12 and 7k in the bank. And here we go. This is one base. The colleagues will come to help. And that was that. Yes, please do that as well. Now we have got no probes, no more interceptors, we've only got one Nexus, and all they've got to do is find it, with, I believe, now 16 carriers, and mine out the map some more, perhaps build some more cannons, but this should be it. Oh, an extractor and a probe. It will start from a new, but I don't think it will have the time. With it. Where are the carriers? Where are they? Oh, there they are! And boom goes the Nexus. No more minerals to start. Oh, perhaps a pilot somewhere. And there goes the last pilot. There goes the last pilot. It is GG. Oh god, why can't I do this? GG!